So John, I see that we've had some changes to our permanent collection galleries. Why don't you tell us what we've sure. done and your, your approach to this? Yeah, so it, the, the galleries had looked the same for probably about 10 years when people would come in and, and you're entering the, the American galleries on one side and the modern and contemporary on the other. Mm -hmm. And typically when people would come in, they would see a colonial portrait of little white children sitting over a Chippendale desk. Um, and that was the way it was for a long time. And, We've been really looking towards um, integrating different parts of our collection a little more, doing more thematic installations. And so this whole gallery is devoted to portraiture now. Mm -hmm. And we, we brought the Copley over from one side and the Kehendi Wiley over from the contemporary side and brought them together um, to really help visitors start thinking right away about um, historic continuities, but also differences in how portraiture was approached. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about the two of these pieces, how they sure. contrast, how they're similar, and kind of about how portraits were used during this time period, which kind of led sure. way to other Sure, so we've got portraits. the Kehendi Wiley, which was done in 2006 on the left, and then 200 years earlier, we have John Singleton Copley's portrait uh, on the right there of Mrs. Richard Crown and Shield uh, Derby. Now the Copley, during Copley's time, um, Portraits were often used as a way for people to kind of make their entree into society or document their importance. So um, she commissioned this portrait of him shortly after she'd gone to England and wanted to kind of get into society um, when she was there. And so he not only um, painted her portrait, but cast her in the guise of St. Cecilia. So she's uh, the patron saint of music. So she's playing a harp to show off her musical skills and her lovely long, long fingers, um, but also has these kind of angels coming down from above to kind of signal that she's a saint. Um, so, you know, portraits at that point in time were, were done by people with, with the means to do it. And, um, you know, it was most often a white artist painting a white patron. Mm -hmm. um, Wiley really turned all of those things on their head um, with what he's doing with portraiture, really, on one hand, looking back at art history. So this is based, um, the composition is based on a stained glass window of King Philip the Fair of France. Mm -hmm. um, but Wiley is privileging um, kind of the everyday person from the streets. So he would meet people in his neighborhood, um, African-American men most often, and then kind of put them into these historical guises, um, painting them life-size, giving them a, a prominence that um, they might not have typically had, uh, and also weaving them into these kind of wonderful um, settings as well. It seems like he's also trying to redefine some of the stereotypes that have been assimilated upon African-American mm -hmm. men by softening it. Mm -hmm maybe, with the flowers. Yeah, I mean, definitely there's a contrast between this, this strong figure um, and he's holding a flower that's kind of drawn from the, from the pose of, of the um, historical stained glass window, but sure, also kind of surrounding him with the, in this floral, this, this kind of embellished environment mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, I think he's, it's, it's a contrast with that very confident gaze that the figure is looking exactly. at it this way. Yeah. Exactly, and I see that there's also a contrast between that strong fit figure as opposed to maybe the softening, the white here, the right. innocence, the, the heart plane. Sure, yeah, and, that's, and he's very much trying to, Copley is trying to kind of cast her as this kind of elegant, dainty, you know, beautiful um, figure and, and to really um, make a splash when this portrait would have been debuted at the um, annual exhibition in, in London that year. Okay. Thank you, John. Sure, absolutely.